hello guys welcome back to the Trevor tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix amnesia the bunker is having crashing issue it is not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop black screen stuck or loaded screen and many more the issues which is happening for many of the users right now so the game is released right now and the demo is being released already out and getting huge response from across the globe so we're gonna talk about the workaround the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart and that is what we have to do. For that we just need to go over here on this icon, click on this one and go for a simple restart. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issues so you can try this out and this is what we have to do. So a simple restart is what we have to do as the first step and if that is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. For that we just need to go over here, click on the game, right click and go to manage sorry go to properties now from here go to local file now from here just click on verify integrity of game file so just click on this one so this particular step is actually one of the main and important step because if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is very important one and this has to be done because you know if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing you know we will be definitely having the issue with this particular one which i mentioned in the title so it's a very important step that we have to verify integrity of game file so it's an important one so just do the verify integrity of game file and once you're done with this one straightly we just need to move to the next step that is all about once as you can see we'll begin in the message like this so 11793 files were successfully validated which is an important one once you're done with this one just close this and move to the next step next step is all about launching the game from the steam maybe one of the reason why you are having the issue so if that is the case we need to launch the game from the installation folder for that we just need to go over here right click go to the properties go to local file click on browse which very easily redirect you redirect you to the installation folder if you look at the top that is this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common amnesia the bunker demo so from here just launch the game sometimes this launching the game from steam might be an issue so you need to launch the game from this one and that's going to work for you as well once you close this one there is one more step that is all about we can also navigate to the installation folder using file explorer because we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder for that just go to local to see now from here go to program file x86 now from here go to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here select the amnesia the bunker now from here you can launch the game as well so both the thing is fine both are taken to the same location but you need to know how to navigate to installation folder apart from the shortcut from the steam once you launch the game that might be working out if that is not working we need to launch the game from the uh, we need to launch the game as an administrator for that just right click over here go to the properties once again go to local file go to browse now from here you can select the application right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here just click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok this is what you have to do so just try launch the game after this most probably that's gonna work for you as well if that is not working we need to run the game in the compatibility mode for that just right click over here go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here go over here as you can see the compatibility mode check this and make sure you are having this one and over here in the run this program in compatibility mode first one we need to try with windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok if that is not working try this changing to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok try with both the one either you can go for windows 7 as well as go for windows 8 and once you're done with this one try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well moving to the next one is all about we need to launch the game next one is all about we need to make sure the windows language is correct for that we just need to go over here go to the settings now from here go to settings now from here go to time and language go to language and region so some of users might be playing the windows or they might be changed windows from the native language to any other local language of this for example arabic japanese chinese etc which is causing the crashing issue if that is the case we need to make sure that this language should be selected to default one that is english set the language to english and once you're done with this one try launch the game and also parallel make sure the date and time is correct as you can see the time and time zone should be correct which is an important one once you set this to this one you just need to go back and try launch the game that's gonna work for you as well 
Next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together. For that we just need to click on the play button over here but the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab together from the keyboard that's going to work for you and this did work out for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to go for allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here we just need to go over here now go to system and security now from here we have to go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app for feature through windows defender firewall and from here you need to check whether the game is already added so as you can see the amnesia the bunker demo is already added and make sure the private and public is correct once you set this one just go for details and go for browse and over here it is quite important we just need to uh, select this one that means you have to select this one so sometimes you know it will not be added so if that is the case we can go for allow another app that is an important step as well so for that we just need to go over here that is we can click on allow another app so if it is not added we can add it by default not only this game any game so just click on allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc uh, now from here go to local disk c and go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps now from here go to common now select this one and keep scrolling down and select this one and go for open and go for add so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so just open it and add it and once you're done with this one just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file so we'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine for that just go over here right click and go to this pc now from here over here if you go to the documents over here you'll be finding the game that is amnesia the bunker so if the it is not only there because i haven't saved any progression so far so you'll be getting the folder so if you get the folder just delete the folder and keep in mind you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once after that just go over here and try launch the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be playing the game with connected to joystick logitech wheels or even multiple monitors so that might be causing the issue why we are having crushing this i don't know how these are related but this did work it so i found this on the reddit some of the users mentioned this when they remove everything from the usb port which means they have connected to the joystick they might be connected to the multiple monitors as well as to a logitech wheels or any other game when they removed everything and launched the game it did work it for them so for the users who are trying to play the game with the uh, this one that's called uh, you know joystick they just have to connect it back after the game is successfully launched then try launch the game that's what we have to do moving to the next one is all about we have to try with performing a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go over here for system configuration now from here go to services make sure you have to disable all go for apply and go for ok and once you're done with this this might ask you for restart some cases so if it is asking for a restart just go for restart once after that try launch the game that's going to work for you as well for those who users once you disable it just go for apply and go for ok you might be getting a message which is asking for restart so restart is a mandatory do not skip this up and once after that go back and see whether the issue is solved or else we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just right click over here go to the properties and go to the over here make sure this should be disabled and once after that try launch the game if that is not working we need to go to the launch option here we have to give the command the first one is dx11 give the command dx11 and try launch the game if that is not working tr try changing the game to dx12 and try launch the game so try with dx11 or either dx12 anything can be done once after that try launch the game that's going to work for you or else we have to close this and we have to make sure we need to close the unnecessary task which is running in the background for that we just need to go over here in the start right click and we have to go to the task manager over here and you will be able to find there are few things which is running in the background this will not be the same case for all the users because for some users you know there will be a lot of things which is running in the background and if you find any unwanted things running in the background just remove it that means you have to select it and go for end the task that's what you have to do because overlay applications as well as overclocking application is one of the main reason why we are having this issue so overlay application for example discord and even for the overclocking application something like you know 
river to an msi afterburner all these can comes under this category and if you find anything over here just have to remove it and once after that just go over here and try launching the game that's gonna work for you as well moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search and you have to go for graphics settings over here and right now as you can see this is how it looks like so we need to add it so just go for the browse now from here we need to navigate to the local DC. now from here go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam steam apps is what we have to do go to common and here we'll be find it and once you find this over here just select this one and go for add so right now it is already added and once you successfully add this and this is what you have to do once you add this just go for options and make sure you have to change this to high performance that is an important one so change or set this to high high performance is what you have to do so change this to high performance and go for save so once you save this, this is an important step because when you save this to high performance you know when you're trying to launch the game you'll not be having an issue like crashing and all those things so change this to one to this and once you're done with this one just close this and go back and try launch the game Moving to the next one is all about you have to try with run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that we just need to go over here first go to the first one that is update the graphics card manually. For that that is what we have to do. So I will be providing both Nvidia as well as for the AMD users. The Nvidia users they will be landing on this page. And from here select the product, product series, product operating system, language etc. So go for Windows 11 and go for every details over here and go for start search and once after that try launch the game. Moving to the next one, go to the AMD over here, you just have to select everything over here, go to this one and go for submit and we'll be getting the details like this. So if you're on Windows 11, download this one, if you're on Windows 10, download this one. Once after that, try and download and install it and once after you're done with this one, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. That's going to work for you as well. Moving to the next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory. This did work it for many users, so just go over here in the search. Go for view advanced system settings just click on this one now from here go to advanced go for settings once again go to advanced once again and go for change right now as you can see this has been set into this and this is what you have to do and once you set this one this is what you have to do as it is you just seem to go for change and over here you have to uncheck this and go for uh, select this one and make sure this should be unchecked because if you select this one you will not be able to select the lock list so uncheck this and make sure you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and once after that go over here and go to custom size give the value for initial size as well as maximum size so initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM this is what you have to do so just go over here and go to the calculator over here now you just need to do a simple calculation so I'll, I'll be sh telling you what is my RAM so my RAM is 32 GB so I have to multiply my RAM with a constant value 1024. So just multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024. Then multiply it with 1.5. That brings you the value 49,152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Moving to the next one is all about multiply 32 GB into 1024. Then multiply this with, sorry, just uh, do like this. Multiply 32 GB into 1024. Then multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. So just copy this and you have to paste it. Once after that, just go for OK. So just uh, go, go for OK and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. Moving to the next one is all about we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings, go for windows update over here at the bottom and make sure the windows is up to date or you will be having a lot of trouble. So we need to run the game or I mean we need to run the OS on the latest update so we'll be having the trouble. So just update the windows, update windows should be up to date and once after that just close this and the last and the least one is all about we need to uninstall the game and reinstall it back. For uninstalling the game go over here go to manage uninstalling the game. For reinstalling it back you should be installing game back on the same local disk not you should not be installing back on the same local disk. Try changing the position of local disk and this is what you have to do. Once after that, try launching the game and that's going to work for you as well. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Amnesia the Bunker. And uh, that's going to work for you as well. And also we'll be soon uploading videos on the Diablo 4, which is having a, many users are playing across the globe. So just stay, stay tuned for that. And this is what you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Bye.